This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Grand Valley, uh, Grand Valley Speedway East, 1.86 miles, 57.1 feet of elevation difference. So yes, we're going to the short course now, and uh, the dealership, as I said before, remains the same. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna buy. I bought the Aristo last time. Huh, you know what? Fuck it. The 2000 Vauxhall VX220 Turbo. What color should I get in this uh, this thing? Petrol. Yo, this thing looks like it's fucking blue, but, um... I'll get it in petrol. Screw it. I know, right? Imagine not watching this on Twitch and watching this on YouTube instead. Which, uh, now with the extra time that I have, um, well, extra time that I'm giving myself now to promote some more content stuff, I gotta figure out a way to, like, get, um, get stream shit done too, you know what I mean? I'm gonna stop on mediums just to be on the safe side with this car. Like, just in terms of the field itself. So yeah, one lap around Grand Valley East in the Ford's layout. Let's see what we can do. What's our field like? A Caldina, an Alpine, and a Volvo S60. Okay. The Alpine? I'm kind of like, what? But the rest of the cars? The Caldina and the Volvo S60 are going to be like the high-speed cars. They have more power than us, but we have the weight. We have the lightweightness, if that even makes sense. That's a, that's a word. Yeah, it is. I made it up. I'm starting to wonder if um, every single time we restart the game itself, if the soundtrack just defaults back to this, because now I just hear, yeah, 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 that song. I feel like it's the first song you always hear when you boot the shit up. No matter if it's a new save or if you return. I realize I could have bought the Tom's Chaser for this, but I don't know. Since I don't plan on playing any of the, the PAL region Gran Turismos, uh, that's why I was like, oh, Vauxhall VX220. So yes, I'm going to repeat myself in case anybody just joined. Y'all know that I stream on Mondays, right? And my Monday streams are kind of long. Because they go from like 12 p.m. my time to like 4 p.m. my time or 5 p.m. my time. Well, we are going to change that. Sometimes I do work Mondays. Sometimes I work Mondays, right? But on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, maybe Sundays too. You know, because like Sundays I most likely go out on Sundays. But I can still squeeze in on Sundays. We're going to be... Streaming regularly now, at least attempt to. 6 in the morning, Pacific Standard Time, to 9 in the morning, Pacific Standard Time, or a little longer, maybe 9.30, if I want to push it just a little bit. But yeah, ta-da, sort of kind of announcement, not really. It's not like I'm a full-time streamer or anything, but uh, yeah, I want to stream regularly now. That's kind of the plan. And then the plan is like to have a schedule where I can say, like, hey, we're going to do, like, you know, Gran Turismo Sport slash 7 one day, I racing another day, and then do a Let's Play another day. A Let's Play that isn't this, because obviously this is like the downtime game. While we wait for like the next GT Sport, either while we wait for the next GT Sport slash 7 Sport Mode race, or next I racing race, or if we have a group of homies on. I'm just doing this right now because like, well, we literally just have like 20 minutes to kill, and I'm not going to boot up GT Sport. Part-time shooter, full-time cutie. Oh, Funny about that. So, yesterday... Yesterday, it was my first time back in in-person class. And, like... I don't know... I don't know if this girl started talking to me because I was practicing chivalry. Because, like, I just, like, held the door open for everybody. I normally do that. So, like... I'll set up the scenario. So, like... The disappointment on her face when I told her I was, like... Somewhere on the aromantic spectrum and I'm asexual was... Honestly, afterwards, fucking hilarious, but I was just kind of like, yeah, I'm not really interested in you. So, like, the point is, is that, um, you know, I held the door open for everybody, and, like, that's the thing. Normally, like, if somebody wants to be cute, they'll constantly say your name again and again. So this girl was just like, hey, Elmer, something Elmer, like, 
because that was the first time we all met each other in person. And you know me, I just start, I just talk to anybody in class. I don't care. And so like she was gossiping with some with with her homie, with her her, her homegirl about some guys or whatever about her ex or blah blah blah. And so like pretty much like what fucking cracked me up was like like we just all started talking, or I just started talking to her. And uh, you can see in her eyes, like, like that's the thing. I'm kind of an asshole for doing this, but I do it for, for I do it to gauge people. So like, hey, yo, chicane. Yeah, she starts calling me chicane. Okay, so anyways, I, I like I'm not an asshole for doing this, but it's but I say asshole because it's like I know what I'm doing, and maybe it's kind of wrong, but it's not like I'm doing anything illegal or anything. But literally, like, I smile at people to gauge their reaction because one thing that that guys and girls love about me is my smile because I have like one dimple here you have no idea how many times I get complimented for my smile but anyways so like literally um like I, I kind of like took my mask off because like the professor gave us all candy right and so everybody was had their mask off and I kept my mask on and we're all you know six feet apart and shit and so I kind of like took I took my mask off while I was talking to her, and I started scratching my beard. I'm just like, man, I hate these beards. And I just started smiling. I mean, I hate these beards. I hate these masks, and like they always itch my beard. And I just start like smiling, and I could see in her eyes. Her eyes fucking lit up. I was like, yeah, okay. So I like talking to her about my job because you know we're just chit chatting and shit, blah blah blah. And she's like, oh my god, blah blah blah. And then like I was like, yeah, I like when I have pride clients because you know they're the easiest people to talk to. Cause I just, you know, I'm like, yo, pride. Heck yeah, like I love, you know, I love your pride flag or whatever, you know. And then I just start telling like, oh, you know, I'm a romantic and I'm asexual. And she's like, what's that? I'm like, oh, so I basically don't really experience romantic attraction too much, and I don't experience sexual attraction whatsoever. And the look on her face, she was like, oh, cool. Like she still smiled, and we were still having a nice convo, but um, I could tell that like her excitement talking to me completely changed. <laughs> It's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, if she was into race cars or gaming or if she was, like, a metalhead or, like, a goth chick or something, it'd be a different story, but, like, yeah. People, people's appearance, like, it, it, it does zero for me. Yeah, Alvaro. <laughs> and that's not even the first time this has happened to me, bro. Like, even before I really resonated with the label, bro, this shit... Yeah, she, well, I don't have a type. <laughs> I don't really have a like, dude. Domestic. This, like, this have this is like my life story, bro. I'm not saying like I'm like a ladies man and every girl wants me. Like, of course, and that's not true for everybody. Not even like the most gorgeous guy on the planet. Not every single person wants them. That's just that's that's the reality of of life in general. But literally, like, dude, like, okay, I shot my shot the other day, right? For the first time in my life. I mean... <laughs> I don't need a type. Okay, so like, I shot my shot for the very first time in my life the other day, right? Because I had met this girl who was into gaming. Right? And she worked in the gaming industry. I'm not saying where she worked. <laughs> yeah, Tusha, that's exactly it. And like, I got rejected for several reasons. But... When I posted it on Twitter... People seem to think that when I said I felt nothing, that I, like, felt like... People seem to, to think that I felt absolute sadness or something like... Oh, the Caldina. Okay. People seem to think that I felt, like, crazy sadness about it, or I was just like, I feel nothing, as in, like, I'm empty on the inside. I am dead on the inside. No. I meant nothing as in, like, I don't feel a single thing, like, I feel emotionless to it. I'm just kind of like, okay. Yes, I did. I did get passed by a minivan. Yeah, there you go, Boston. Also, hi, Boston. How's it going, dude? Yeah, pretty much. Just head empty. It was just kind of like... If anybody's watched One Punch Man, and you know how um, Saitama just reacts to everything, just kind of like, okay. That's pretty much just me. I'm just like, alright. Like, just back to normal. Like... That's pretty much it. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, like, for me to actually, like, I, I don't think I'm demi-romantic. I might be. I don't know. I don't really look for the label, honestly, because for me there's really no point. Finish. But, 
But, like, I'm still more in that gray area, because I'm just like, I can't really experience romantic attraction just, like, like that with just meeting someone and just single interactions. For me, it's like... I, for the, like, the prerequisite is somebody has to be, like, I, I guess domestic, I do have a type. Someone who's into gaming, someone who's into car culture, someone who's into my music taste, or someone who's into anime, because I'm getting into that now. And even then, that's still not enough for me to be like... That's not even not enough for me to be like, um... Yeah, I like this person. No, I have to like their personality. That's why that one person that I ever liked that I had a crush on, I was just like, yeah, this person's personality is awesome. <laughs> Pretty much, Skelly. Lean romantic, yes. And yeah, I agree with you, DNA. What DNA? Fucking Tusho. Oh my god. Yeah, people misconstrue that as me being sad, but it's just like, nah, not really. <laughs> I'm doing good, Boston. I'm doing great, man. So like, I might be streaming regularly now. Early morning schedule for me, but... I see that the reception to that, I figured, like, dude, I'm gonna stream at 8 in the morning or 6 in the morning or whatever, no one's gonna watch. No, that's bullshit. People will watch. You might get new people, but being consistent with streaming is key to everything. And, um, yeah, so, like, Mondays will be long day stream, long boy stream, Sunday, possibly. But for sure, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are gonna be short streams in the morning. About three hours long. That's a short stream for me. Regular stream for me is about four to five hours. Finish. So yeah, we're nearly at the S rating. We just need one more race to go. I'll save a replay just for the sake of the YouTube thumbnail. You got one more race to go. But we have time to do the reverse variants. This has only taken us about 13 minutes. Very cool. But yeah, how's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing great. So that's my little story from yesterday. I share this because um, it's actually... This week is actually um, Aromantic Spectrum Awareness Week. I didn't realize that. And I and I figured... I thought to myself, how clever because it's literally the week after Valentine's Day. So, like, the timing of that is actually extremely clever for the community. Because, you know, romantic love isn't the only love you can experience. Like, I remember once this one girl was asking me about that, and she was like... She was like, D do you think it stems from that because of, like, trauma? I'm like, no! It's just, like, like no! The, the reality is like, yeah, okay, maybe as a teenager, part of me felt like low self-esteem. is like, I hate my self-image, but no, in actuality, like, even after I gained my self-image... None of that, none of that, like, I want to go chase girls now thing came, came apart. Like, yeah, of course I sleep with people, but, like, it's if they ask. That's where the indifference part of me being asexual is. It's just, like, if someone asks and they're, like, into something weird, it makes for hilarious storytelling, so I'm just like, yeah, fuck it, okay, sure. Or, like, in my case, like, I have, like, a friends with benefit now. So, like, that person pretty much just admitted they had a crush on me, but they realized, like, hey, like... This person's not gonna like me back, so it's just like, look, you know what? Honestly, I just want to kiss you. I'm like, okay, cool. You asked kindly, and you like, you respected my boundaries, so like, fuck it. I'm, I'm like, I'm about it. I don't care. I respect it. You know what? I also respect the fact we have to do this race again because Grand Valley Speedway Reverse is up next.